rabbits like to eat? Maybe when I asked you this question, most of the people in this room thought it would be carrots, no? The truth is, most rabbits prefer other vegetables over carrots. And this thought that carrots are better for rabbits even causes people to harm their rabbits by feeding them the wrong foods. Carrots can sometimes harm rabbit teeth. So why did most of us automatically think of carrots? This is a stereotypical thought. It's a stereotype that we think all rabbits eat carrots based off what we have seen or know. You see, we use cognitive shortcuts and come to fast conclusions. These cognitive shortcuts are called heuristics. Heuristics actually help us a lot in our everyday lives. They help us make fast, quick, and mostly correct decisions. There are many different types of heuristics, so not all are related to stereotypes. And although heuristics can be great, they can also be bad. The representative heuristic takes something you've seen once or twice and makes you expect it to happen again. So let's go back to our carrot example. In this example, one of the sources was the cartoon Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny is a character in this cartoon. This bunny constantly eats carrots. So when kids see this multiple times, they start thinking that it's true and that it applies to all rabbits. We are exposed to lots of information through media. Therefore, most of the stereotypical thoughts we have today are also strengthened by media. I also had stereotypical thoughts. Back in the day, when I was young, er, I formed a big stereotype based on males and females. My mom stopped working outside when she had me and my sister, and she took care of us. So when I saw her every day after school at home, it made me think she never worked, even though she did. I just never associated her with working because it would either be when I was at school or after my sister and I went to bed. My dad also worked, but he worked full time. He would wake up, eat, go to work, eat, come back, eat, and finally sleep. As you can see, my father enjoys eating quite a bit. <laughs> well, I can't blame him, so do I. The point is, my father was outside the house more than my mother. Therefore, I associated him with working outside. This was my experience. Females take care of the kids at home. Males, on the other hand, go to work outside. Because of the representative heuristic tool in my brain, whenever I saw a family, I would see it through my own lens, and I unknowingly formed a stereotype. Then one day, at the end of school, my friend's dad came to pick him up. And the next day, the same thing happened. And the next, and the next, and you guessed it, the next day. So I went up to my friend and I asked him, how come your dad isn't at work? And the response I got was, what do you mean? My dad doesn't even go to work. It was hard, but I realized that not every family was the same. And now that my knowledge on this topic had changed, I no longer had this stereotypical thought. Moms can work, dads can work. Moms can stay at home, dads can stay at home. Forming this initial stereotype about the roles of women and men was wrong. So here's my second question. What do you think is the most common attribute of a donkey? So most of you probably thought a donkey is a stubborn, lazy, or dumb creature. In fact, that's quite wrong. Donkeys have very good memory. Whenever a donkey is exposed to any situation which in their mind associates with danger as a protection instinct and for its safety, sometimes it stops moving. The real reason for this is when a donkey senses danger, it freezes and assesses the situation. It wouldn't move until it figures out what move would be the safest. But because some people think it's being stubborn, lazy, or dumb, they might harm it just to make it move instead of understanding, gaining its confidence, and leading it by demonstrating there is no danger. With similar negative stereotypes and prejudice in a human's life, the situation is in fact the same. Once a person faces prejudice, they are more likely to exhibit a lack of self-control. It's harder for them to make good and rational decisions. They are more likely to eat unhealthy foods. And yeah, that shows how individuals are affected by negative stereotypes. 
So another thing stereotypes can cause is senseless or wrong relationships. You might become friends with not a great person or a liar just because you thought they would be a good person, maybe the exact opposite. You might not become friends with this amazing person just because you had a negative stereotypical thought about them. If we form stereotypical thoughts when we are younger, it will be hard to get rid of them in the future. Therefore, in my opinion, schools should play a positive role in this and stop prevent stereotypical thinking at a young age. Not only should teachers treat students equally, but students should treat other students equally. Now that you know how heuristics can affect most of our decisions and stereotypes, instead of using shortcuts that ignore reality, try it the hard way. Think it through. Just because one person in this group of people does something doesn't mean all will do the same. We are all different in a good way, but we can only find the positive differences in people if we start on a blank page. Thank you.